Oh my god, look at this man! Hello guys, look at this. My wife got me one of those beautiful gifts that a woman can get for a man. <laughs> one of the best ones. <laughs> let's let's unpack it and you guys will see. Oh my god, look at this man! <laughs> This is something. Look at this beast. Oh my god. Wow, look at this. This is huge. This was actually a very good surprise that I received from my wife. But I was a little curious about the reason why this thing was actually $20. Hmm. So I decided to tear it down and see exactly what was missing in this GPU. Is it a prop or is it actually a GPU? Can I repair it? Can I use it? Those were the questions that were flowing in my head. I waited for my wife to get out of the house and I was going to do it. There was actually a lot of information on the box like the capacity of DDR6, the MSI logo and all the very various information at the back of the box and even a SN number that I checked online and I can confirm to you guys this box is genuine. Now it was actually time to get to work and break this thing down. We can see here on the foam that there are pressure marks made by the GPU. So this GPU has definitely been sitting here for a while now. There are a few tools and things missing in the box but I'm sure they wouldn't be shipping those things for $20. But all of this is not really important. What matters the most for us is the GPU itself. The fan on the GPU were really smooth with no sound at all. The GPU heatsink was actually pretty new looking with no obvious deformation to see. The GPU fan cables were still connected to the PCB and the RGB lightning LED and cables were still in place. What is inside here is way worth a hundred dollars. Way, way worth a hundred dollars. But let's go. It was now time to grab the tools and start digging in the GPU to see exactly what we get inside a GPU. Since this is actually my first time disassembling a GPU of this kind of caliber. If you have a graphic card that you want to disassemble just like me, you should be really careful with all the screws. You do not want to be unscrewing a portion before the other one because this is going to create a kind of inequality in pressure and maybe some deformation to the back plate. Now that we are done removing the back plate, we can actually observe the back of the PCB, the thermal paste, and their disposition. Graphic card manufacturers like using this kind of glue looking like thermal paste, maybe because it is better at absorbing the heat and sending it through the back plates. We should start using these on CPUs. The back of the PCB is full of transistors in different shape, size, and positioning. It seems like the back of the PCB hasn't been touched. So we need to keep on digging to find exactly what is missing from this board. This plate here is bent backward and I guess it is connecting the PCB to some other compartment inside the GPU. Its role may be to create a certain tension for the GPU PCB to be pushed against the heatsink for better heat dispersion. Slowly unplug the RGB lightning cables. Carefully remove the chassis support plate. And then if here you have another thermal paste. And then you have it. This is the plate of the graphic card and it is on this plate that we have all the components of the graphic card. We can see from the board that there is a lot of dent already from the remove item and even if you were to find the GPU and all those memory RAM to put back in there, you might not be able to use this PCB anymore. So I think that's the reason why they're just selling it for the cheap because this PCB is basically just dead. And if you didn't see it clearly, these are the piece of items that were taken away from the board. Those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2 gigabyte each 
2, 12, 24, 24 gigabytes of RAM gone. Now it was time to put it back together since there was nothing I could do to actually save this card. And done. Now, what happened to the missing parts of the graphic card? From the information I got, those missing parts have been used by big techs. And when I mean big techs, I'm not citing anyone here for AI training, for graphic AI training and AI picture reconstruction and AI picture building. I'm not sure if I'm portraying it the right way, but that's what I understood from what they were explaining to me. Now, can you use this card if you plug it in your PC? it might actually smoke. And I do not want to smoke a gift that my wife made me. So it is only going to go on one of those shelves just behind my computer up until maybe in a few years, if the 4090 become like what, $500, then I'm going to buy one of these and maybe I'll have an extra PCB and heatsink for it. Thank you guys for watching this disassembly and reassembly video and following me through the process of discovering exactly what happened to this graphic card. Please be sure to like, comment down below what you think they are using this part for and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.